Let's start by drawing a cube. I'm going to slide it up. Try to make your lines as light as you can. It leaves us flexible to change the shape if we need to. So I've got a cube. I'm going to put this up in the air. So I need to add some legs. Okay, we know the legs will start from here, but where do they sit on the ground? That's easy. Place the splat back here. Slide it down until that dot ends up at the end of the slot. So we'll go boom. Trace around that just really lightly. Complete the top. So that's kind of the bottom of the cube that I've moved downwards. So you can see if I had some pipe legs, I need to one there, just round it off at the bottom. Another pipe here. And another one here. Let's put somewhere to crawl inside this. So if I come back to the original position and trace around one, two, three ellipses. I want it to look like they've got some thickness. So I'm going to place that back here. Put a straight edge here. I'm going to slide this mark down by that much. So slide it down to there and draw. Come back to the original position. Let's look at this ellipse. Place a flat edge against there and slide it that far in. So in all these situations, I'm always sliding the ellipses towards the center. So let's put a straight edge there. I'm going to slide this one in by that much. There. Now it kind of looks like it's hollow inside. You might even see the far corner from there. If I imagine that corner coming straight down, you might even see one there. And from here, if I come in, show you what I mean. On this angle, keep your splat straight up and down, line it up with that corner, and I'd see an edge inside there. What about this one? Which one will it be, this or this? It looks like if it's going that way, it's gotta be this one. So, put the splat there, and draw that one in. Tidy that one up there. So you can see inside the, the cube. Um, it's not big enough, I wanna have another cube joined on out here. So let's come back to the original position, straight edge here, slide it one cube length back to, oh, start again. From here, slide it one cube length back to there and trace around the bottom and the back edge from the blip down. Same as before, we're going to slide it up by one cube, draw that in. That one's already drawn. Just need to turn it upside down, line up these two corners with these two marks. Bump, bump. Let's round off the corners here. Uh, let's see, I'm only going to add one opening at the top. So I'm putting it back in the original position on the cube, doing an opening, sliding it down. I need to draw from here and here and to draw a line down and copy another one down. I put the splat back to here, this corner here, that will be the angle of the runs. Once you get started, you can just freehand them in like that. This is just quick rough drawing, right? It's called conceptual work. There's my ladder. Uh, what about a slide? Same thing. I put my splat back here. If I bring that cover up part of that circle, so there and there, that straight line. That's where my slippery dip is going to start from. So I'm going to draw um, a line down here, and a line here. I'm going to copy that part of the ellipse down here. Let's give it some wider sides. I'm going to put a highlight just here, and I'm going to just render that in.
I'm going to do a climbing wall at this side. So here's my splat in the original position. Slide it in this direction, along there, by one cube, until you can see that line in the slot. And I'll draw that. I'm going to come up, draw that, and come downwards. What angle should this line be? Same as these. As long as you hold the splat straight up and down, you can trace around any of these that fit. So we're going to go down there. I'm going to keep going down all the way to the ground. So if that's one, that's one to there, that'd be the problem. So if I darken this in, that would be a wall. Let's give it some thickness. This line, this direction, and darken that in. So this is my climbing wall. So you could add some shapes of various sizes here. Let's, uh, let's add a cylinder here. Since this is the bottom of the cylinder, I'm going to draw the bottom half of the cylinder. Then I'm going to slide it upwards and draw the whole ellipse. Let's connect those. So you can see I've got a cylinder sitting on top of the cube. What about I add another one over at the back here? Remember I'm drawing the bottom half? Yeah. Slide it up and draw the top. Hmm, let's add a support there. Stop this from falling down. Uh, maybe we could climb up the top here. We could add a ladder here. And we could do a balance beam across here. I'm going to put a starting point. I want it to come out here. Which of these angles will it be on? Well, it must be this angle, but instead of that way, it's going to need to come out this way. So that just helps me get the angle out this way, there, and same there. At the end of the plank, I'm going to put that there and go pop there. Uh, let's give it some thickness. From here, let's slide it downwards a little, and at those angles, I'm going to add some some thickness, let's use the rule here. Okay, so I've kind of got what I want. Now I'm going to tidy it up with a straight edge to there. Let's add a little support under there. Uh, this could be a springboard off into a pool. Let's do it. If I draw it really lightly and lips there, that's not a very big pool, guys. So we're going to need to copy that shape, but copy it a little bit bigger. So now we've got a bigger lips. I'm going to bring some lines down. I'm going to copy that shape down here a little bit further. Uh, doesn't. Let's add some water in there. Doesn't look very poolish yet. Let's add some water. Let's try some rendering of the cubes. And the step one, put a little bit of colour all the way through. Let's do this one the same colour. Choose one side to be my dark side. I'll go here instead of here. So we'll darken that one in. I'm trying not to go too dark because I know inside it will be even darker again. It helps me understand that it's a 3D shape. Don't forget your cutting line right around the outside helps to define the shape. Maybe just a little bit here to help contrast between here and here. A little bit of shadow in here. To make these look like they're actually beside each other, when you get two things in the same colour as what you've rendered it in, just add a little bit more dark next to it and it looks like it's kind of reflecting onto it. Uh, maybe a rope out here. swinging rope. Maybe we could put a tire on the bottom there. Let's have a look. A 
just tie the rope onto there and green grass just do a little bit of shading down here now it looks like it's kind of sitting in some grass which means I could probably put a little bit of shadow under here for this for there this could be the shadow of the cube here like this And there you go. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Have fun. Bye.